Hey guys, today we're uh, playing Life is Strange 2. I've uh, previously played Life is Strange 1. Uh, I actually even played a little bit of Life is Strange 2 when it initially came out. These are less uh, action oriented games than what I've previously been playing, which I'm taking a little break from, you know. These are kind of chill, relax, you know, click here, click here, adventure games. Uh, the first one was about a girl that had a time-altering power where she could manipulate time and go in the past. And uh, it was a really good game. And this is a sequel where I'm going to play as the older brother of a uh, little brother that finds out he has powers. So, let's get into it. Let's start her up. Sometimes, yeah, let's go ahead and have those on. Officer Matthews, I've got a 1010 in progress. 1452 Lewis Avenue. I'm gonna need backup. Copy that. All backup available. Tonight, don't be late, losers. Okay, update time. You heard back from Jen yet? Um, no. I'm sure she'll reply at some point. Let me take a look at the situation. Hey, Jen, you going to the party tonight? Dude, we talked about this. Could you have any less game? <sighs> I'm no good at this. Ooh, how about... Yo, Jen, see you at the party. Let me know if I should bring handcuffs. <laughs> oh my god, you thirsty bitch. Here, let Lila the Love Witch work her magic. Okay, just don't make me sound before you send. Too late. Would be awesome to see you there? What? I could have texted that. It's a good start. She'll text back, you'll see. You know, I don't even know if I want to go tonight. Oh, please. 
It's gonna be fun. You hate every party. Oh, because they're all the same. Too many people, too fucking loud, everybody's wasted. Yes, Sean, you just described a party. Well, the suspense is killing me. It's Dad. He wants to know if I'm coming home after school. <sighs> Jeez, I'm not a ten-year-old. He just cares about you, Sean. Anyway, you should be happy your dad's looking out for you. Oh, it's Jen. Saying she can't wait to see us at the party! What? Really? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Told you I would work my matchmaker magic. Hmm. So... So what should I wear tonight? A condom. Oh, ha ha. Paying plenty of attention in sex ed class, I see. Hey, lovebirds. Back from the loony bin? Shut the fuck up, dickhead. Damn, your neighbor's an asshole. Yep. Always true to himself. Man, we need to find a couch for your yard one day. Ooh, careful. Last time my dad almost busted me out here. Because you were alone? Your dad wouldn't bust me. He loves me. So, you wanna hit or not? Hmm, nah, maybe at the party. Track stars aren't supposed to smoke, you know. Yeah, sure. I'll remember this when you're begging for a spliff tonight. Speaking of weed, I got that covered tonight. What else do we need? Eric said his parents don't leave shit at the cabin, so we better make an official party list. Hey, whoa, what the hell are don't you doing? Don't move. You're my human post-it note. First, we need money for supplies, munchies, chips and dip, soda, etc. Uh, this better wash off. And of course, we must not forget the booze. I can probably snag a six pack from dad if he's got enough. Hey, did you ever think of maybe just sending a text instead? Hmm. All oh, right, blankets. It's gonna get so chilly tonight. You and Jen are gonna need something to snuggle under. Oh, one last thing. C O N D. Oh. oh, stop. You're out of room, punk. <laughs> Whoa, good drawing, Lila. Daniel's teacher would be proud of you. Ha! The pretentious artist has spoken. Don't fall asleep before me tonight, or you might see more of my skills. <laughs> you wish. Oh, these fucking planes, man. I want to hate them, but... I'll miss them so much if I move somewhere else. Shit changes so fast. I get so emo sometimes, wondering what will happen to us once we graduate. Will you still be my BFF? Will shit ever get better than 1452 Lame Avenue? Yeah, man. Friends forever. Yeah, but what happens if we go to different colleges? Or you get sick of me? Whatever. Uh, you heard of the internet? <laughs> no way distance can tear us apart. We're freaking fighters. Yeah, you're right. Best freaking fighters forever. Okay, it's getting way late and I gotta pick out my outfit for tonight. Skype me later when you're ready. Hugs. Talk to you soon. Very high school, typical relationship. Hello, Friday night. <laughs> At least from what my experience. <laughs> hey, perfect timing. Just the sun I wanted to see. Oh, sure. I'm a little busy. Did you see Lila? 
She said we can go to the movies next week. She said- Dude, bug her, not me. You're not exactly her type. You're lucky she puts up with you. Ugh, jeez. Thanks, Pop. I feel really supported right now. You're welcome. And now we need an objective judge. That would be you. <gasps> really? Hey, no shh, fair. Shh, shh, shh. Court is in session. Judge Diaz presiding over the case of the last Choco Crisp. I, I have to go uh, get ready for a party and stuff. So, well, if you want to attend to a party and stuff, you have to earn it, your honor. Oh, shit. Hey, he swore. Yes, I heard Tattletail. Mm. Please, Judge Diaz, be an example to the court and society. Then you can go hook up or chill or whatever. Now, who deserves to eat this final choco crisp? Your adorable little brother who eats about 10 bags a week, or your poor, suffering father who slaves over a hot engine to provide his family with a home and a garage? Me, me, me. Come on, Judge. Shh, 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 shh. Let him decide. Judge, the verdict, please. Daniel was guilty of being a brat. So the Choco Crisp goes to Senor Diaz. What? No way. You're a cheat. <laughs> nope. I'm the law. Your Honor, I can't let you punish an innocent man. So? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I always knew you'd confess. OK, back to work. I hear an engine calling my name. And you better play nice together, like you always do. I have to go to work in my room, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Don't hurry back. All right. Now we okay. Go here. Let's get this party list started. Uh, Dad flips out if I don't pick up my stuff. But Danny leaves his shit all over. I thought you could clean up here, but I don't think that's the case. Every Christmas, Dad wants to watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy with us. That's cool. Right. I don't know who plays more. Daniel or Dad. Daniel spends hundreds of hours yelling into the mic playing Minecraft with Noah. I'm not above a good Minecraft session. Let's see what we get here. Jeez, how old is this? We've had it since I was ten. Dad hates sushi. But he orders it anyway for us. I'm not that into cars. But these are pretty bitching. Alright. That's all I can look at over here. It's nice going jogging with Dad every once in a while. Though he's way too chatty. That's right. Que pendejo. Oh, the asshole neighbor. I raid the fridge for a six pack. Alright, uh. This will work. I don't want to get wasted in front of Jen. Okay, better take that instead. <laughs> Man, Daniel could live off this crap. Cross that off the list. Drinks down, food to go. What the? Is Dad baking something? 
Meet the Diaz. Organization experts. <laughs> Real funny, Dad. Dad tries so hard to get on a healthy diet. I can't wait for him to be on Instagram. So uh, oh, yeah, I'm not reading all this. <laughs> That's their uh, text message. Asshole. Uh, oh, he's referencing a spread that text him. Not the girl. I think I know what to ask for Christmas. Probably some video game, I guess. Uh, but damn. We got it there. Dad wants me to keep this junk as backup. Yeah, right. Yeah. <sighs> Not sure Daniel was ready to be an uncle yet. Oh, hi, Gunther. Sorry. You stay hidden here. Lila provides the weed tonight. I better be ready. My first hangover. Dad laughed at me so hard when I came back home. Man, I so don't want to work this weekend. Don't think you're going to. <laughs> Board, trophies, picture. Look at the picture. I told them not to take a picture of me after the race. <clears throat> I look like a sweaty pig. Yeah, that's a cute picture. Big pig. Sit and draw. Space circuit drawing. Eh. Sit and draw for a minute. Lila will survive if I take five to practice my drawing. I should take a good look at the subject before drawing. Uh, oh, oh. <sighs> okay, got it. Not too bad. You're slowly getting there. <laughs> Hey, not too bad. I don't think it's 
progressing anymore at this point. Yeah, we're just gonna leave it. Play like a look. Okay. This was such a cool day. Can't wait to go back out there with the crew. The crew. <laughs> all right. We almost got caught by a crazy old dude, but it was such a blast. <laughs> okay. I'll just look. Okay, so we still need a blanket. Can we open the store? No. Will Dad actually take us there one day? <laughs> Doubt it. All right. Invoices, homework. Uh, oh, definitely dude. going to need major snacks for the party. So he said snacks, uh, can I open any of these cabinets? Oh, sure can. All right. Take some cookies. You're coming with me. Uh, chips? Oh, no, she wanted chips, so. We'll switch. Mm. Maybe this is better. Uh, yes, that back. A lot of those that girl that I was with earlier. Uh, is there a dip in there? Let's see here. No, just just the soda. Okay. So let's go talk to Dad. See if he went down here. Get some money. Light switch. Alright. Alright, Dad. Where do you put the blankets? See, you would think it'd be the dryer there. Box decorations. Key stuff. Well, I guess. How long is he gonna keep all this shit? Okay. Oh, there's a blanket. I'm sure Dad won't miss one blanket for the night. All right. That you, Sean? It's me, Daniel. Cool. <laughs> Can you tell your big brother he's grounded tonight when you see him? Hey. Since you're creeping around up there, can you pass me the wrench in the top red drawer over there? Sure, can do. Um, there's no wrench here. Ah, shoot, must be somewhere else then. Take a look around. I know I left it nearby. It's a 16 millimeter reversible flex wrench. Jeez, that was definitely my plan for tonight. So, yeah. Hold on. Sam came by the garage today. Told me to tell you hi for him. How's his leg? Well, you know, old fossils like us don't heal the way you do. Uh, remind me never to get old. <laughs> hey, it beats the alternative. Hey, I got it. I think. Hmm, should have a flex head. I can't reach that bolt otherwise. 
I'll be honest, I do not know what a flex head is, so. Let's see. I'm going to assume that's not it. Hey, did you get your English midterm back? Uh, oh, yeah. I got a B. A B? But you were so confident about the essay you wrote. Yeah, I think Mrs. Calloway's just prejudiced against Vonnegut. But Slaughterhouse-Five is amazing. Hey, you don't got to tell me. Tell her. Next parent-teacher meeting? <laughs> She's getting a piece of my mind. Uh-oh. Prejudiced against Vonnegut. Not the piece of the mind. Is that it? Yes. This is it. Took your time about it, but you did it. I'll make a grease monkey out of you. Yeah, yeah. All right, just let me tighten this. So, finally decided to come and join your old man under the hood, huh? <laughs> yeah, um, sure. I know it's not your thing, but you gotta learn a trade. Art, athletics, engineering, I don't care. As long as you put your heart into it. I'm trying. I just don't know what direction to go. You're only 16 years old. You've got time to figure it out. Trust me, it took me a while, too. And are you happy with it? I mean, your job, living here? Of course I am. We're doing great. Maybe one day when I retire, I'll go back to Mexico, to Puerto Lobos. But until then... Ugh, I've heard this one before. Hmm. I don't even know why I'm fixing you a sweet car for graduation. I'm just not used to driving. You better get used to it, or you'll be taking your date to prom on the number 30 bus. Like I'm going on tons of dates. Not when Daniel's cock-blocking me the whole time. He's nine. He doesn't even know what cock-blocking is. He looks up to you, Jean. Try and help him. It's what family is for. Oh, um, by the way. Ha, huh. I was wondering how long it'd take. You need money for the party tonight, right? Ah, 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 shh. Just be honest with me. No bullshit. Are you using this money to buy alcohol? Weed? Uh. Um, I mean... Yeah, probably. But we'll be partying at a house and nobody's driving home. I swear. Well, everybody's got to get home somehow. But yeah, you and Lila better not get in any car with somebody who can't walk straight. Holy shit, 40 bucks? Really? Yeah, why not? You did a good job on the lawn. Plus, I appreciate that you didn't lie to me. Thanks, Dad. Just be careful. That's all I'm asking for, okay? I know what kind of crazy shit kids can get into. Don't worry. We got smartphones and stuff. We can call a ride <laughs> if we need it. And I can always text you. I try not to. Or you know, you could have sent my friend request on Facebook so I could keep an eye oh, on. Oh my God. Okay, <laughs> I have to go. Thanks, hey, Dad. Hey, hey, not so fast, Shawnee boy. Don't you think you're by? Promise. Bye. Love ya. I love you too, hijo. Dad's a pain in the ass sometimes, but he's awesome. Yeah, I would call him like pretty ass everything. after. Better you gave me that money. Bullshit. I actually didn't think you would after I was honest with him, but. Okay. So I've got all the uh, money is plus. Can I Skype old girl now or? Oh yeah, use. Sorry, Lila. 
I'm just not a selfies kind of guy. Uh. Okay. Don't be a stalker, Sean. <laughs> Man, this is taking forever. Do they want me to pay for it? Oh my god. The internet was a mistake. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know which direction I'm supposed to go at this point. So I've got all the supplies, I think, right? Maybe. Dude, come on, open up. Why? <laughs> because. What are you doing in there, Dr. Frankenstein? You gave my choco crisp to Dad. So what? He gave it back. Dude, you're so spoiled. What's with the sisters? You'll see, but not now. So don't come in. Okay, fine. Don't tell me. After all, I'm only your big brother who looks after you and takes care of you. Stop it. All I can say is, watch out for my costume in three days. This Halloween is going to be awesome. Are you going to the party tonight at Eric's house? Will Lila be there? Yes, 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 and no. You can't go. Teenagers only. I bet Lila would let me go. She's way nicer to me than you. <sighs> Did she ask about me? <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. She's cheating on you. Shut up! Aunt, I don't even care if I can't go. Because... Because I have secret stuff to do. Alone. Of course you do. Okay, well... Daniel's always up to something. <laughs> okay. Wonder what's next. Practice? What about practicing? Hey, Jen. What's <laughs> oh, up? Oh, Lord. Oh, try again, loser. Hey, you look totally hot. Oh, my God. Stop. Oh. Hey, you want to share my blanket? Hey, Jen. Do you wanna hang out sometime? Not bad. Remember, don't be too thirsty. Okay. Maybe if I go outside. That to something new? Oh, or my bag, because I left that before. Okay. Oh, back, yeah. Finally, ready to go. Time to Skype Lila on my laptop. Okay, now I can Skype her. Okay. boy just give me a minute gee where did I put the mm, hold on <laughs> okay hi did you get everything on your hand list it's all in my backpack yeah dad hooked me up with some cash so we're set for the night in case we need anything else or if you and Jen need anything else ooh la la <sighs> okay serious talk what are you gonna say to Jen tonight well I don't know, play it cool, talk about the gig last week, get to know her tastes. Oh, oh my God, you did rehearse your moves for tonight. 
You're totally into her. So what? I don't have any game. These are uncharted territories for me. You're super cute. Just be yourself. That's why she's Sean. into you. Sean! I'm done, look! I made zombie blood. It's, um, corn syrup and food coloring. Hey. Hi, <sighs> Lila. Get out of my room, Daniel. I was just... Come on, man. Just, uh, Just bugging the uh, shit out of me again after I told you to knock? Uh, yeah, but... I know. <sighs> anyway. Sean, you're an asshole. What's your problem? <gasps> but... I want to see zombie blood if you don't. It's the hard one. Mm. That's all you gotta say? You wouldn't be so uptight if you got Blade. And maybe tonight's the night. Don't jinx me. Jinx? I'm your lucky charm, bitch. <laughs> okay. So when are you coming over? I just have to hit up the momster for the car keys and hope she doesn't make me lie too much about the party. I'm already in trouble from last time. This time, don't get caught. Let me see that drawing. This might be my masterpiece. Well, yeah. It's my portrait. Ooh, shit. Jen just posted her outfit for tonight. What? On her wall. You should check it up. It might get your attention. Whoa, her hair. I didn't mean Whoa, to. indeed. Oh. I told you she was super into you, man. What's her profile picture got to do with me? Huh, oh, me. you will see. OMG, oh. you gave her an LOL? <laughs> that is a ballsy move. So what? I'm a funny guy. Are you? I better warn her. Hold on, okay? Something's going on outside. What do you mean? Hey! Look at my shirt, asshole! What's the big deal? It's Halloween! Uh, hey! Uh, Don't ever touch my brother! You hear me, Brett? Fuck you, Diaz. He got his fake blood shit all over my shirt. Look! I told you, it was an accident! You better leave us alone! Oh, yeah. Go hide in your dad's garage. Pussies. You think you own the block? I mean, I'm not gonna question it yet, it's my little brother. Dude, step back. He didn't mean it. He's a fucking kid. He's a fucking retard. What? What did you just say? You heard me, bitch. Don't ever touch him again. Or what? You're gonna get your daddy? Hey, asshole. I don't need him to protect me from you. Oh, you, you wanna go? Oh, yeah, <laughs> motherfucker? Then go back to your own country. <laughs> ah! Whoa! Ooh. Sean, you hit him! Get inside, now! Sean! You're dead meat, bitch! <laughs> you and your whole fucking family are going to jail, losers! Ooh. What's going Fuck on? me! Daniel, get over here! Sean! Is he hurt? Okay! Okay, step away! Now! Calm down, <laughs> officer! Shut up! And step back! On the ground! Now! Hey, wait! This guy was he started beating me. up my little On the brother! Ground. Now! Hands behind your Sean. head! Sean! This is fucking bullshit! Oh, no. Sean, what's Get happening? Get Dad! We didn't do Sean, anything! Sean, be quiet. I swear! Officer, Dad. listen. Oh, I'm sorry, Dad. Daddy! Be quiet! You wanna go home? They're good kids, officer. Don't move! I'm sure they didn't do I anything. I said don't move! We didn't Daniel, do anything! It's gonna be alright. On the ground! What the fuck?
fuck. No way. No. Daniel, hey, come on. Daniel, come on. We gotta go. Now. No, man. We can't stop here. We gotta keep going. No pouting, okay? Come on. But... But... My feet really hurt. These shoes suck. And we've been walking for four days. What? Only two. Don't even try that shit. And my back hurts from sleeping under that stupid bridge. Yeah, so does mine. I was there, too. Just knock it off. I hate it when you act like this. This is how people camp in the woods. It's not like being... being at home or... or in your room. This is a... a real adventure. Right? So... come on. Let's hit the trail. Seriously. Where's Dad? Daniel, come on. We gotta go. Why isn't Dad with us, Sean? Doesn't he want to go camping too? Yes, but I told you that he can't. I told you, okay? Okay, but I am so sick of walking. I just wish I was back in my room. I know. I know. Hey, at least we don't have to go to school on Monday, right? Yeah. Look, um, everybody's gonna be so stoked when they find out how far you walked. Really? Really? I bet Dad would be too. Do you think we walked, like, maybe a hundred miles? Probably two hundred. Feels like it. Ooh, awesome possum. But next time, Dad better get me a good pair of shoes, like yours. Dude, <laughs> a Bigfoot doesn't need good shoes. I'd rather be a wolf. Ow! We could be wolves. Yeah, yeah, that, that works. Just work on that how. Hey, you know what? Let's see if you can walk the whole way without complaining once. Huh? <laughs> uh, like, you don't whine too? I don't whine. I... I... Tag your ass and no, run! You're it! No way! 
Not fair. Whatever. Okay. I'm a zombie, and I'm gonna eat you. Blah! Are we there yet? Dude, stop. You know what? You're not allowed to say that ever again. Yes, sir. You'll be the first one to know when we get there, okay? I'm tired and hungry too. Listen, this looks like a perfect place to camp out. I bet we're not the first people to stay the night. It's creepy. There's nobody out here. We didn't even see any cars. We're gonna camp here. I'll look out for you. Oh, look! Do not touch that car. Man, what are you doing? It's so dirty. Car out here? Um, Hope the driver isn't around watching I us. I see something. What do you find? Check it out. There's a chunky Choco Crisp bar on the dashboard. Yeah, it's I see. Open it. though. <laughs> you know I love Choco Crisp bars. I haven't had one in a million years. Yeah, right. Two days More ago. Like two days ago. <laughs> Come on. Can we please, please, please get one when we stop next, please? I promise. Yeah! And you can wash it down with a frosty root beer later, okay? But I'm starving. Just don't eat me. Probably get out of this chair, right? Let's see. Daniel! Check out this mark on the tree. What is that? Graffiti? Not exactly. It's called a trailblaze. And people used to put them up to give directions. Like GPS? <laughs> yeah, sure. Just slightly more ancient. Awesome! Let's follow it. If only Dad was here. Come on, Daniel. 
The sun is going down. Okay, dude. You have to use the bathroom? No. It smells real bad. No shit. Seriously? You better go now. I don't have to go. Jeez. Can I just pee on a tree? As long as you don't mind the poison ivy on your balls. Uh, well, maybe I'll go. But don't let me get stuck in there. Don't worry. I'll call the forest plumbers if you fall in. Gross? These are worse than the ones at school. <laughs> Especially after you use it. Sean? Look how big these trees are. Eh, uh, that's only because they need the sun. This is this, uh, uh, Sides, they'll protect us from the rain. What uh. if they don't? What if they... Uh, attack us? Uh... Here's a chance to go on a real adventure. With me. Hmm. So I'm like Frodo? And you're Sam? Uh. <laughs> Dad always knew exactly where to go. He was a living compass. Uh. <laughs> well, I was thinking more like Aragorn. You know, brave. Man. What are we doing out here? Uh, <laughs> well, I was thinking more like Aragorn. You know, brave, strong, good looking. <laughs> no way, Jose. We don't have You're much. Sam. Sam. This is better than nothing. And we have to find. Probably not a good idea, but we'll see what happens. Come on, Sean Wise. We must explore. Whoa. That place is huge. Yeah, it's kind of cool. We don't have hey, much. Sean, I found bears. This is better than nothing. I don't. Can I taste one, please? Not these ones. Come on. I'm starving. One won't hurt. Yeah, it could. You better. I'll leave that to the zombies. Yeah, I could. You better listen to me. I can't tell him the truth now. I just can't. People write some stupid shit sometimes. Okay. People write some yep, stupid yep, shit yep, sometimes. Picnic and hiking site. Well, I bet nobody comes out here to picnic anymore. Well, that's good for us. No camping? Uh-oh. Don't worry. Nobody's gonna find us out here. Do not feed or disturb the animals? What? What kind of animals? Like bears? Or coyotes? Or... More like squirrels, rabbits, critters. Just don't bug them and they won't bug us. They're way more scared of us than we are of them. Unless they're angry or hungry. Okay, come on. Don't freak yourself out. Let's go. Okay. Good. Damn, I'm so tired. Feels like we're walking nowhere. How am I supposed to take care of us out here? I don't even know what happened back there. To that cop, or Daniel. How can that be? Whoa, look at that. Yeah. 
so cool. Never seen you get so jacked up over a nice view before. So? I've never seen anything like this. Never, ever. Yeah. I guess you haven't. I remember when that... I wish Dad was here with us. Well, thanks. Not cooling off anymore? Yes, you're super cool. But I just wish the family was together, at home. It'll be cool to watch a movie and get a pizza and eat ice Dude, cream. Dude, stop. I told you we have to keep going. We'll see Dad later. Right now, it's just you and me, okay? Yeah. It's our park. We can do whatever we want. That's right. So, we better go build a, a secret base so we can hide out for the night. Are you ready? Frodo is always ready for adventure, Sean Wise. Okay, let's go. Okay, so... Hello, down there! No, not right now. We stick together. Not today, I'm not. Sorry. Whatever. Mm. What if the raccoon came with us? He could be our pet. Oh, man, raccoons are not a pet. You ever see their claws? Yeah, but this one likes me. Until you run out of food. Let it go, Dan. Yeah, help him over? Yep. <laughs> okay. Now it's your turn. Hop on down. I'll catch you. How come nobody is out here? Huh? It's October. People don't hike as much. So why are we? Because we can. We're badass warriors, dude. Cool. Daniel, you hear that? Is that a bird's nest? Oh, yeah. They're everywhere out here. At least they have a home. Come on. We're too big for a nest. Is this, uh... Oh. <sighs> um... This is pretty high up. Uh, Sean? Come on. I got you. <clears throat> Phew. Thanks. Alright. Trying to get down to the water, because... Oh, well. I guess uh, we're going this way. You see that? Looks like a clicker. Creepy. Uh, yeah. What the hell is that? I should have listened in biology class. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Stop it! The last of us reference. Ah! <gasps> I got you, dude. You struck out. That did not scare me. Liar, liar! Uh, I saw your face. That was a uh, surprise. Maybe you scare me for like one second. <laughs> I got you, I eat you. Don't mess with the zombie. We 
we could build a really cool fort here, I bet. Ooh. Looks like a cave. Kind of, kind of spooky. No. Actually, it's kind of perfect. For what? For us, man. We're gonna stay in there. Bet we could stop any orts from capturing us in here. <laughs> cool. In that case, we definitely need to get a fire going first, right? Right! Yes! Uh, so what do we need? Hmm. I need you to build a fort to keep out orcs, trolls, uh, everything. And I'll take care of finding the wood. Deal? Yes! I can build traps, too. Nothing will get to us. Awesome, dude. I know. <sighs> okay. Let's unpack. Finally. Probably should have grabbed the side of the beer. Coming! Let's see. Here's a good spot. So I need wood to start a fire. Oh, there's a lock. One step here, and wham. Now this is perfect. Nice and dry. This is gonna be 100% orc proof. That's enough for a toasty fire. Okay, so. What do we have? Hey, this isn't too bad. I guess Daniel can chill a little. Hey, can you give me a hand? Yeah. This is the best way to protect the base. Yo, what are you doing? I'm trying to move this branch to protect the base. Good call. Here. Not a bridge. Let me take this side. You like got it? Tree. We'll see. Go ahead and push. Damn right. Nice work, Daniel. Cool. I'll go check the river. Check this out, Sean. Whoa. 
Nice view. You can see so far. Wait, I'm coming. He's such a little guy, but he's dang strong. It's beautiful. Pretty amazing, huh? See? It's not so bad here in the forest. Hey. Look at those clouds. What do they look like to you? I don't know. Cotton candy? <laughs> That's it? Cotton candy? I don't know. What do you see? A dragon. What? Where? Okay. There's the tail. And the horns and the fangs, and the smoke coming out of its mouth. Oh, I see it. It's awesome. Wouldn't it be cool if we had a pet dragon? Ooh, I see something else. There's a giant douchebag. Oh, yeah? Where? <laughs> right here. <laughs> right here, huh? Ha. <laughs> huh. Come on. Let's go eat something. Going down here for? That's a bear. Oh, them scratches. Or a deer, maybe. I'm scratching the antlers against the tree. Gonna catch a fish? Feels good to focus on something after all that shit. Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this. Looks like he's done. Yeah, no. Are you fishing over here? Okay. <laughs> Shoot, he. Oh. Sorry, Mr. Fish. Watch me. Dude, come on. That's a boulder, not a rock. Here, 
You need a flat rock. Hold it like this. Look at my hand. Boom. Okay. I did it. My turn. Hold it with your thumb and finger. And spin your wrist when you throw. Not bad. Give it another try. Uh, so close. Try again. You've almost got it. Getting into the zone. Don't give up now. I did it! I did it! Did you see? <laughs> oh, yeah. That was awesome. I think you're ready for the Olympic stone skipping team. He thinks we're just going on a trip. I can't imagine when he'll find out what really happened. We could build a really cool fort here, I bet. <laughs> Go back to our section over here. Oh, you want to challenge me? Behold my sword! Uh, who are you? Who are we fighting? Orts and Goblins trapped us down! Watch out! They can't beat our fellowship. Ah, they're down! None shall pass! We are awesome. Damn right. Thanks for having my back. Now that is a big web. <laughs> You're safe, little bro. Spiders hibernate in the fall. Good. I remember when you pushed me into that web. <sighs> hey, that was a long time ago. You got me back, right? Yeah, well, you screamed when you saw that plastic spider. <laughs> So funny. Yeah, ha ha. <laughs> At least they won't bug us tonight. <laughs> Get it? Uh, no. Come on, Sean Wise. We must explore. Or we can just go back to our campsite. <laughs> what are you looking at? Hmm, I'm going back to campsite. Shit, those are bear claws. That's what I was afraid of. I'm not going to tell Daniel. Yeah, probably best not to. I light it now. All right, and I know we're cave people now. Time to make fire. We make fire. Can I help? You have a big mouth like me, so come on, blow. Yes. Dude, don't blow it out. Sorry, sorry. I wanted to do it like a movie. Oh, nice. It's warming up.
Wish we had more. I know. Me too. I wish we had a cheeseburger and a milkshake like yesterday. Yesterday was yesterday. Now that we're out here, we have to do everything ourselves. Right? Okay. But you'll help me if I need it, right? That's what I'm here for. And you gotta help me, too. Okay. Come on, where is it at? You okay, buddy? Yeah. Feels good to sit down. Sean? Are you mad at me for what happened with Brett? I don't remember everything. It's not your fault. Shit happens. Brett deserved it. Why can't I remember? It's weird. Um, uh, don't worry, dude. You were running around all day. You tired out. It happens. Look, a full moon. Ooh. <laughs> It's not quite full yet, wolf boy. Do you think there are werewolves for real? Uh. Dude, we are the wolves. Oh! See? Oh, oh! Oh, 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 oh, Probably not the best thing to do in the woods, but... <laughs> Still no reception, of course. Well, uh, check her out.
it's cool that uh, Lila, you know, cares and she's, you know, trying to be there. Uh, Drunk. Now the thing here is this off to me is that somehow the officers automatically know, like we know something. You know, there's no proof that we were actually there, except for uh, well, I, in case that guy lived, uh, the the asshole neighbor, and he might have ride us out. But you know, he knows we didn't shoot our dad. <laughs> but. I'm bored. Sean, can I play Mustard Party on your phone? Please. You said no. Dude, no. get real. The battery's almost dead, and we're gonna need it. Come on. You said there's no reception. So what? You'd still kill the battery. Forget it. You just don't want me to beat your score. <laughs> That's right. And you never will. So, see here. Backpack, wallet. Oh, We're almost man. broke. How do we He's eat so tomorrow? Tired. Wonder if I'll ever go back to school after this. And... I could really use a smoke. Yeah, I could right. really use a smoke. Gotta look at the beer, but there you go. Nice, Sean. Beers are exactly what we needed for survival. Man, I made a fire tonight. Dad would be proud. <sighs> Daniel's a zombie. Oh, you look tired. Ready to crash? I've been ready all day. My feet hurt. I think we earned some serious rest. I could sleep forever. Not on this ground. <sighs> better than freezing out there, right? Way better. Now we have a real fire. And a secure base. You did awesome today, Daniel. Really? Hell yeah. Without you, there's no fellowship. <sighs> That's cool. Why is one... Stay open, son. Sleep tight, bro. Going on. Oh, is that memories? Dad. Dad, where are we? Daniel? Hey, bro, wake up. Huh? Sean? What happened? Where's Dad? It's okay. You, you just had a bad dream. That's all. Sean? 
Where... Where are we? Right here. In the park. Remember our amazing fire? Um... Yeah? Are we okay? Uh... You fortified our base, so... We're perfect. Um... I did. You're right. Go... Go back to sleep. You need your rest. But I might have another scary dream. You won't. I'm here. Just... Just close your eyes. Thanks, Sean. I'm glad you're here. Good night, Daniel. Look, it's easier now. We're going downhill. You just gotta keep walking. Uh, yeah, that's better. Hey, maybe we'll find a milkshake shop. Ah, oh, yes. The four secret milkshake factory. <laughs> keep dreaming, dude. Let's walk a little more. There will be a rest stop or something where we can buy food. I'm sure of it. Oh. Remember that time? Harry Thompson wanted to beat me up. Me and Noah traded some games with Harry. But he didn't like his. So he said he was gonna get us after school. What did you do? We waited in the gym until he went home. That's it? You should have told me. I tried. But you said to get out of your room. You did stand up for me. With Brett. For a change. Yeah. Well, he had it coming. Hey, there's something ahead. Yep. Must be the gas station we saw on that sign. Hmm. Yep. Shit, my phone's dead. Awesome. I'm so hungry for real food right now. I hear you. We're gonna get food, water, and plus a map. Two hundred thirty dollars. Yeah. Not much else. Thirty dollars is the only useful thing I have, except this blanket. So we can water. find the best route. All right. Hey, come on. I know last night was tough, but tonight will be better. Utah? You're a long way from home, dude. Hey, come on. I know last night was tough, but tonight will be better. I swear. Yeah. I hope. California plates. Maybe they can help us. Hmm. Sean, can we find some food? Hey, I have a special quest for you. What? You have to go ask that nice family for some food. What? No way, Jose. Why me? Sean, I don't want to do this. You're older. But you're cuter. Even Lila thinks so. You're awesome with people. Yeah, but I'm asking for their food. Like we're homeless or something. Uh, no. We're just foodless. Okay, I'll do it. What do I say? Just be yourself. But don't tell them anything about us. Except uh, we're camping. And hungry. Okay.
Look what they gave me. Whoa, you did it. I knew you could do it, man. The mom was nice. The dad was kind of a weenie. But we got chips. You kicked serious ass. And I'm allowed to say that. Okay, well, we got some food. It costs anything. Uh, that container? Work. That's it for me, I guess. Dad always had a thing for gas stations. We stopped at so many on our road trips. He says they're all kind of the same. They feel familiar. Almost like home. Same bad coffee. Same nasty toilets. Same food. But I don't feel at home at all. Sean, I'm hungry. Can we go eat something, please? Um, yeah. Sorry. Just daydreaming. Okay. Let's go. Okay. So. Uh. It sucks I can't do how. No thanks. Okay. I already have one. Make sure it wasn't us. On the poster. Bear shells. <laughs> Kinda creepy, huh? Nah, I think they're cute. We should have one at home. Dad would love it. No way we're carrying a freaking log around, dude. <sighs> okay. Right. Sean, Back you sure it's okay to poke around? I mean, not like breaking in or anything. Just looking around. Let me just click on over here. Ooh. Damn. Why do they let this rust out here? I know Dad would be able to fix it. Yeah. Maybe not that one, dude. He has to finish your talk first. Yeah. I know. So this is probably the owner's car. Uh, let's look. Looks like the perfect setting for the Washington Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. So we're not going in there. Okay, good to know. Front door. Hello there. Whoa, Sean. Damn, hey. Choco Crisp. You promised I'd get one. Uh, okay, can't do anything there. Uh, don't think we should steal. Uh, let's, uh... It's better than tap water. Water. We can live on bread for a few days if we have to. That's like we can't make bark, a fancy so. sandwich. But bread will be just fine. Watch where you're walking. I don't want mud all over my store. Yeah. 
Can't go wrong with these. <laughs> Might on Pupper Road cred. Hi, what are you looking at? Oh, hey there. Well, I'm actually doing research. It's, uh, but not for you. Why? Like dirty stuff? Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, adult stuff. I'm nine years old. I know these kind of things. Don't worry. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you do. What's your name? Hey, hi. Uh, sorry about my brother. <laughs> uh, don't be. He's awesome. Um, I know what you're thinking. What the hell is this creep looking at? Uh, no. I don't mean... I mean... It's not as weird as it seems, though. These people, they only want to live a normal life. Just... naked. I mean, if they're not harming anyone, who's to say they're wrong? You're in public, though, dude. Nobody. Yeah, I agree. Yes, why should we all be the same? Who says so? <laughs> Never mind. I'm getting carried away. Name's Brody. I'm kind of an online traveling journalist. Sean. What's a online traveling journalist? Just a fancy name for someone who drives around in a car, writing about people and stuff. There's a few websites that pay me for these papers since I know how to write. Nice to meet you, man. You traveling with your brother? Yeah, we're on the road, going south. Good for you. The best way to learn is on the road. The earlier, the better. Well, I'd love to talk and avoid work all day, but I'm already up against the deadline. Safe travels, dudes. Thanks, man. See you around. Ooh, Sean, check it out. It's a raccoon costume. Okay. Uh. I want to be a rat. Looks like you're all set to go. Is that it? Yeah. I think so. Okie dokie. Let's ring you up. And there's the damage. I think that's it. Okie dokie. Thanks much. All right, here's your change. Cool. Thanks. That $70 is not going to last that long. Hey. See the baby bear, Daniel? Oh, that is awesome, possum. I mean, the bear. So cool. Then he's all yours. We have a surplus, as you could tell. Really? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, what's that? Six down is a short one. Ooh, Perfect. a puppy. Blue sky. Yeah, it's a dog. Oh, a puppy. Sure. Super cute doggy. You ready? Is this yours? No, just another stray mutt. Aww, he must be sad. What's his name? That's a she. Oh, right. Oh, can we have the puppy? Please? Yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> Sorry, man. No way we're taking a dog with us. We need adults to take care of her, not kids. See? Sorry about that. Now let's go. But... Who sends postcards? Boring. We could live in that. But there's no way we can pay for it. Oh, uh, no. Well, come on. I'm Daniel. So what exactly are you doing all the way out here? It's a secret adventure. Is that so? Sounds intriguing. Did you make all the... So 
Seven down, drop it. Okay, cut. I guess I can't go that way. Hmm. We're not too far away. Probably need a map to find it, though. Ah. Hey, that's the same name as our airport. So, I need a map. What kind of name is Stamper, anyway? Cool, we found this place. Perfect. We should be able to find our way with this. Go on. It's actually free. Cool. Thanks. It's a real nice map. You'll find lots of great hiking trails around here. Power Bear is amazing. Hey, look, empty table. Oh, let's grab it and check out this map. It's our table now. <laughs> yep. Let's see. What do we got here? This is a ton of food. I thought we were broke. Not today, Jay. Uh, we're broke. So let's grub out. <laughs> this is our treat. Really? You got me a choco crisp? Of course I did. You deserved it. Where are you guys off to now? Uh, south, I guess. Right on. Pro tip, don't feed the bears. <laughs> See you later. Whoa, that's a big map. <sighs> yeah, hope I can read it. Washington? I don't recognize anything. Yeah, me neither. But we have to be somewhere in there. Hey, I know. We're here. There's a gas station. See? Nah, no way. We were near Mount Rainier yesterday, but it's miles away now. Let me show you where we are, okay? Yeah, okay. We slept at that trout trail thing. Then we walked south for a while. So, maybe here? All right. This is it. Are you sure? <gasps> yes, it no. is. <laughs> no it's idea. next to the river we camped by yesterday. Here we are. Okay, so, can we go there tonight? Are you kidding? It's way too far. You want to walk a whole week again? Oh, but it looks cool. Hold on. I'll find where we can go. Hey, kids. Looks like you're out camping. Oh, yeah. Just going over trails and stuff. Seems dangerous to be out here all alone. But maybe you're the ones who need to be watched. Huh? What do you mean? We sure just... hope you pay for all that. We don't tolerate shoplifters. Uh, sir, we paid for this. And the map was free. Well, let's go inside. And you can show us what you bought. Uh, no, thanks. We have to go. Nope. You're going inside. Don't make this worse for yourself, kid. Or I will. I mean, we paid for everything. I don't see what the problem is here. Uh, excuse us, sir. 
We were just hiking, I swear. Then let's find out if you're telling the truth. Come on. Uh, but we have to get going. Sean? Uh, it, it's okay. Look, our, our dad is waiting for us. Okay. You can call him from our phone. Now let's go. Don't touch me! Don't do it, boy! Let go! Uh, Don't touch uh, my brother! Uh, Officer Buell? It's Hank. Hank Stamper. Listen. I caught myself a couple of fugitives you might be interested in. Oh, they ain't going anywhere. Don't you worry. Okay, fine. Thank you. What the fuck? Where am I? Back room, probably. Oh, shit. Daniel. No, no, no. Don't do this to me. Police will get those two strings out. Are you sure about this, Hank? I don't know. Then they'll be off our property and won't be our problem no more. If you say so, then. Well, I'll let you deal with it. Oh, hey there. You finally awake? Sorry I had to secure you. But if you're innocent, don't act guilty. How's your stomach? Fucking shit back punches me in the stomach and asks me how it is. I'm gonna tell the police you kidnapped me. Nice try. But I know who you are and what you did in Seattle. You saw it in the paper. Maybe I should call ICE to make sure you're a citizen. Fuck Peckham. you, hillbilly. Right I'm American. Mm. <sighs> Watch it, punk. Whatever going to jail for this. Pretty sure the local police will vouch for me over a thug like you. It's a 16 Where's my kid. brother? Wish I knew. Little shit took off. I'll find him. Don't worry. If you touch him... You think I'd hurt a little boy? Guess you didn't have any second thoughts about leading him out into the middle of nowhere, though. That's real safe for a little kid. If he's lucky, he won't end up like his criminal big brother. Just let me go. Please. You're the reason we need to build that wall. You hold tight. I'm gonna go get your brother. Now remember, this is set like 2016, Shit. so... Bastard turn the light. Come on. It's only plastic. Something I can reach, right? Dark, dark. Open, dark. Window. Okay, so this is the only thing I can interact with. Yeah, that's what I thought. Fuck. So I have to keep trying to break these, right? Uh, no. Daniel must be scared shitless. I can't leave him out there. Okay. Looks like he's gone for now. Wonder if I could get more light from it. Yes. That's a little better. Americans. Sean. Daniel? I'm right here. Are are you okay? I, I, I think so. That 
Oh, look, I chased me into the woods. But I, I think I lost him. Is he gone? I'm really, really scared. <laughs> hey, Inano, you're doing great. You totally fooled them. Thanks to you, we have a chance of getting out of here. Yeah? Yeah. We gotta hurry, though. He called the cops on us. Think, dude. There's gotta be a way out of here. Uh. There's a window over there. Maybe you can find a way in or something. It is, but be careful, it might attract him. Hey, the old guy's gone. M maybe you can enter from the store door. Oh, check it out. That, I feel like that's a risk. Should have tried that egg at first. Okay. Hey, you think you can open the back door? I don't know. It won't open. It's locked. What do I do? I don't know. Of course the fucking keys are all the way over there. Can you try and open this vent? Yes. Ouch. It hurts. Sorry, Sean. It won't move. Don't worry. We'll figure something out. Sean? What's going on? I'm trying to get the hell out. Right. I need something to break. Okay, Daniel. I see some keys, but I can't reach them. <sighs> Maybe I can get them if I can pry this pipe off the wall. Can you find some kind of tool out there? I don't know where one is. Find me something sturdy, like a, a screwdriver or a wrench, anything. But where can I find one? Enano? I can't really see much from where I am. There should be some tools nearby. Okay, okay, I'm looking. Probably that rusty ass truck we saw. Driver just gotta wait this out. Sean, uh, I found something. This is it! You rule, Daniel! Alright. Bye, Banker. Come on. Let's do this. Yes! Good job, bro. Am I still stuck or? The hell? Move. Okay. Sean, is everything all right? Yeah. Come on, you mother! Yes! Score! Kid, you do it? Here, here. Come on. 
Bastard happened. Okay, we need to cut this off fast. How about these? Dude, you're Brock. Did that asshole see you? No way. I'm invisible. Yeah, you are. Okay, now we gotta get my stuff Don't and go. What happened? What? What did you do? I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. It's okay. You're safe now. Uh, stealing. Not a good idea. We're just gonna leave. Move it! Let's go! Now! Is there something else they accuse us of? Come on! Wait! Shit! in the woods. Get in, you too. Hurry up before he catches us. Theoretically, this probably wasn't a good idea either, giving him a stranger's car. You know nothing about this guy. with you two? They started too earlier, but I bought too much stuff, just to piss them off. Welcome to Redneck Land. This ain't Seattle no more. We only lived in one place my whole life. Kinda lame, but... Well, you're pretty young. You have time. That's what's great about traveling. It gives you perspective. Sometimes maybe too much. Well, don't let it phase you, little dude. You're going to meet some amazing people on the road, too. <coughs> What's Who under took the that blanket? Puppy? <laughs> Come on, I'm not stupid. He took the puppy. <laughs> of course he did. Daniel. What? We <laughs> saved her. We're heroes. Are you kidding me? We can't keep a dog. But uh, we couldn't leave her with those mean people. <laughs> Don't give up, Daniel. He's on the ropes. Jeez, come on. We need a dog. Bet Dad would agree. Just, just stop. 
<sighs> you win, but you better really take care of her. Deal. Thanks, Sean. She's gonna be so quiet. And 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 what should we name her? Hey, your dog. Your choice. Oh, cool. Let's see. Um. Mm, how about uh, mushroom? She totally looks like a mushroom. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Not much of a girl's name, though. Who cares? I'm sure she loves it. And so do I. <laughs> All right. Mushroom it is, then. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Thanks, big brother. See, Mushroom, you got the best name ever now. <laughs> mushroom. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I feel like I just witnessed history. You're on your way to becoming official road warriors, my dudes. Castle's like Seth Rogen. <laughs> Sounds like you've been on the road for a long time. Long, boring story short, I come from a family with money, but no soul. I took off after school and never looked back. Now I write stories for zines and websites, do podcasts, protest, try to make some positive change. Whatever. Wow. So you're like all political. Everything is political, Sean. So, how do you make money? <laughs> Spoken like a real American. <laughs> Just curious. Now that we're urban nomads too, if you have any tips. I sell shit. Like a good capitalist. Stories when I can. eBay when I can't. My biggest expense is gas and food, so it's easy. Hmm. Hey, no matter what, I just try not to get cynical. Otherwise, I'd be like my family. End of the day, we have to watch out for each other, right? Yeah, you did watch out for us. Thank you. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like your brother crashed hard. Oh, good. He always goes right to sleep in cars. Yeah, and feel free to do the same. I won't take it personally. What about you? You okay to drive? Oh, yeah. This is my favorite time to drive. Traveling by night is kind of mysterious. Look at that. 
Oregon is like the edge of the world. Hmm. Hey, listen. I know what happened with you guys in Seattle. Do you want to talk about it? I'm a good listener. It's your call. No pressure. I... I don't even know what happened. It was so fast. It was all my fault. Dan didn't want to play zombie, and of course I told him to get lost, and our asshole neighbor was picking on him, and I freaked out. So Dad came out to help. Somebody called the cops, and they killed my dad in front of me. It's all my fucking fault. All I had to do was play with Daniel, and Dad would still be alive. I fucked up my whole family, and now we're alone. Hey, it's gonna be all right. Take a deep breath. Listen, it's not your fault. You don't have control over all this stuff. You can't blame yourself for everything that happens in this world. You're gonna be okay, Sean. How? My life feels like... like that town down there. Wiped out. Destroyed. Now, real quick, the funny thing about that town that he's looking at that's destroyed, that's because of the decisions I made in the first game. Because our friend dies in the first game, and we can rewind time. That's the main character that we play as in the first game. She rewinds time, saves her friend, and a lot of things happen throughout the game. That happened because of the butterfly effect of saving her, you know, because she shouldn't be alive, yada, yada, yada. And at the end of the game, you have the choice to either go as it is and keep the decisions you made, or you can rewind time and let her die. And if she stays alive, the town eventually gets hit like with a massive tornado and just destroys the entire town. So, that town destroyed down there, that's from my actions because I didn't let that girl die. Or my friend die. You know, so. Anyways, can you go back into uh, the game here? Empty. Like I have nothing. What is sure is, that's the past. But you can't look back now. You've got each other. And you have to move forward. Why? You may not see it, but what you and your brother have is the most important thing. He needs you. And you need him. I can tell he doesn't know what happened. Sean, at some point, you're gonna have to tell him. I know. I just have to find the right time. Take it from me. The sooner you can address it, the better. Yeah. I'm gonna do it next chance I get. It's just... It's not gonna be easy. So then, what's your plan? Where are you going? 
cut question. I was thinking, get out of the country, fuck it, go down to Mexico, you know? <laughs> Damn, I thought I was the long haul traveler. <sighs> Maybe this is crazy, but should we just keep going till we get to Mexico? If you think that's the right thing to do, yes. This is exactly what you're supposed to be doing. You have family there? Maybe. We don't even have family in the U.S. Except for grandparents we don't see anymore. What about your mom? No, no way. She's... out of the picture. But Dad, he always talked about this plot of land he owns in this little coast town, Puerto Lobos. That's a pretty cool name. So it's gotta be great. Okay, so you've still got a long ways to go. We've shot the shit long enough. Time to hit the road. Listen, I'll drop you by a motel in a couple of hours. You guys could use some time to yourselves. Okay, Mushroom, you can chase me. Then, Sean. Um, uh, no. Come, see if you can catch me. Ow! <laughs> Glad to see him act like a kid again. How will I tell him? Hey, let's play fetch with the pup. Really? Yes. Let me do a test throw first. Cool? Well, okay, but I'm next. Okay, puppy. Go wide. Come on, Mushroom. Get it. Go, Mushroom. <laughs> Good doggy. I think we need a frisbee. Whoa, what did you find? You just killed a shark! <laughs> you deadly mushroom. She's awesome! Now she wants me to throw the stick. Okay, here. <laughs> Watch how fast she'll get the stick. You go for it. Just don't throw it too far. I won't. I swear. I mean, I promise. Come on, mushroom. Come on. Look. It's a stick. Fetch! Come on, Mushroom. Get that stick. Looks like these two are getting along. It's good to see him like that. Well, I got you that room. Seriously? I... It's only a room. No big deal. Look, I had tough times when I started out. And some strangers saved my life. Thank you. Now's my turn to help someone. It's right there, room 10. On the second floor. Listen, I don't want to freak you out, okay? But you have to be twice as careful now. I know it's easier said than done, but... You should get rid of that phone. Really? 
You can always get a burner later. Trust me. And Sean, talk to Daniel. He deserves Brody, to... you're not leaving, are you? Yes, I am, but not until Santa Brody gives you a goodbye gift. Ta-da! I, I mean, ho, ho, ho. And don't you dare argue about it. I'll leave it right here if you do. Okay, you win. Thanks, Brody. Feels good. Here, looks like it's yours now. As always. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't forget you. I've had it since my first road trip. And it's always kept me safe. Now it's yours. Cool. Um, do you think it's okay if she wears it? Like, our official guard dog? <laughs> sure. It's... Your bandana now. Okay. Time for me to hit the road again. Hey, don't look so sad. You can contact me on my blog, A Tribe Called West. So, you better keep me posted when you can, okay? We will. Thanks again, Brody. <laughs> ah, bro hug. you could stay with us. Me too, kid. <sighs> Sorry, I'll probably think of a better goodbye when I'm on the road, but until then, take care, my dudes. I'm gonna miss him. Me too. Considering he was a total stranger, that was pretty cool. <laughs> it could have been really weird. Okay. Time to hit the sack. Don't worry, Mushroom. I got you. Okay, so... Oh, he gave me some money. Okay. Uh... Okay. Good. Looks like the manager's asleep for the night. Shouldn't have any trouble from them. Do you think it will have Netflix or a jacuzzi? Dude, this is some hotel, not an Airbnb. If we're lucky, it'll have cable and a hot shower. Right. You said it was room 10, that's okay, that's a team. You can't even see what number that is. Sean, 11. I hear something. Like a fight. Um, it's not a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Check it out. It even has a bathtub. <laughs> Good. I'm gonna throw you in, cave boy. We can watch TV, too. And there's a balcony. Whoa, this is nice and warm. Oh, this bed is soft. What about this one? Uh, not bad, but too far from the TV. Can I take the one in front of the TV? Huh? Wanna play it over rock, paper, scissors? Oh, there's no way you can beat me, but Ready? I am so ready to beat you. Mm. Aw, shoot. I told you, man. Can we play another round? Come on. Sure, I mean, you're gonna lose again, but suit yourself. Not this time. I won! <laughs> the pet is mine! I knew I'd beat you. See? And I knew you'd brag about it. Don't be salty. It's a fair win. Yeah, it is. I surrender. All right. 
I'm gonna run a bath. We totally reek. Especially you, Pig Pen. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure, Cave Boy. I'll call you when it's ready. Uh, I'll be right here. Of course you will. Oh, cool. Hot Dog Man is on. Oh, I remember this. That's for everything, Brody. I'll be extra mm -hmm. careful. Okay. Well, uh, Boz, you want to read it? Boz, you want to read it? All right. Weird, it's on so late. Let's see here. My backpack. Nope, nope, nope. That's for nope. everything, Brody. I'll be extra careful. Man, wish we still had Brody around. Okay. Nothing. I wonder if there's actually something we're supposed to be all doing here. These items. Hmm. Uh, anyways, start to... Oh, well. Why is the light on the outside? That's weird. Let's uh fill her up. Uh yuck, Sean. It's a condom in my bag. Gross. Hey. Daniel will love this. Is awesome. You should sit down and watch it with me. <sighs> Damn. That fucking redneck hit me hard. Turn the other cheek, they said. Ready? Aw, the episode's almost finished. Nice try. The water's hot. Come on. Yeah, okay, I'm going. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh, so many bubbles. Try and keep them in the bathtub. I will. Promise. Thanks. And no, the dog is not taking a bath with you. Okay, okay. Don't worry. I should throw my phone away while Daniel is washing. He'd freak out if he saw me. Time to say goodbye to modern life. Lily's freaking out. Maybe I should leave her out of this, or she'll get into trouble too. I don't think we could call her. I don't think it's a good idea. Cause you Arctic. I 
I think I would have taken the SIM card out. Kept that video. <sighs> okay. Don't think about it. Just tell Daniel the truth. Are you kidding me? Remember that song? Come on, dance! Man, I... I can't dance right now. My legs are thrashed. Sorry. You're no fun. Daniel... Uh, come here. We need to talk. Can we get a drink first? I'm thirsty. Right now? You said I could have a Coke. Or something. Okay, I'll get you a soda. But when I come back, we're going to talk. Serious. Fine. What's the big deal? Yeah. Took for a vending machine, I guess. Okay, I can't go. Oh, it's like behind me. <laughs> That's probably not good. Daniel. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Daniel! What's happening? Daniel, calm down! You lied! A cop fucked up and shot him. That's it. Who? No. no. It's not true. I'm so sorry. Why? Why did you lie to me? I just wanted to protect you until I could... Protect me from what? You? I... I hate you! Don't say that. I know I messed up everything. We're gonna get through this. Don't touch me! Daniel, please! Oh, shh. It's okay. I'm sorry. I just... Just don't lie to me ever again. Ever. I'll try, Daniel. But... I need to protect you now. At any cost. I don't care. I'm not a baby. You don't need to protect me. Yes, I do. It's just you and me now. And I won't fail you. <laughs> what are we gonna do without him? Shh. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Am I a monster? Nothing is wrong with you. You're different. 
Okay. What are we gonna do now? I was thinking... Maybe we could go to Puerto Lobos. Where Dad grew up, you know? Yeah, I guess. It'll be fine, Daniel. There's nothing we can't do. As long as we're together. Can you tell me a story? Like he did? I'm not as good as him. <laughs> he used to tell me bedtime stories too. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home there with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together. But, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone. And they had to find a new home. They started a journey through the great big To be continued. Episode 1, Roads. Percentages. Uh, most people kept the uh, candy for themselves, and majority of us told the truth to our dad, and just about everybody hugged him. Uh, you didn't take money from the jar. Confronted Brett, you know, which the majority did again, and. It's kind of in the middle um stealing in the parking lot. It's kind of half and half. And uh, kind of in the minority for asking Daniel to beg for food. And we're probably the mass majority didn't steal anything from the gas station. I mean, it, it's 59%, but the other two were shared between the other two options. And you. 
Oh. Yeah, we're in the minority by not stealing the uh, camping gear. And we're the minority again for not calling Lila back. Which I kind of feel like we should have, but, you know, there's always a chance that uh, it gets tracked back to where we were. And for the extreme minority on saying, uh, we'll try to be honest with 9%, 91% says, we won't lie, but that's, you know, definitely not a thing. Uh, I don't know why it's, maybe I have to, okay, so I can continue now. Probably won't start the second chapter. All right. Oh, no, yeah, no. Come on, man. Focus. We're, we're going to call it there. We're not going to continue on. I didn't know that okay. we'd continue the next part, so Trust thanks me. for coming out. We'll you catch you on the next one.